Hi, my name is Amy. Thank you very much for watching and let's make some bad financial decisions together. This is for entertainment purposes only, so if you're entertained, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Happy Father's Day for those of you who are fathers and those of you have, that have fathers. Uh, please tell them I said hi as well. So for the last two days, I have been in a free seminar about a, like an AI mastermind course. And it was something that my dad had found. And when I found the link to it, I was like, okay, they aren't charging anything, which means they're definitely going to try to sell me something like I am the product if they're not, if something is free. And today they let us know that there is a $10,000 six month boot camp that we could sign up for. And I don't know. I, I feel, I don't know. I, okay. So my background in the industry of programming is not that outlandish to pay $10,000 for a boot camp that is teaching you like how to be a full stack engineer. Um, mostly because it's, you know, live instructors and you're usually going there and they have the network to find you jobs afterwards, at least the good boot camps. So it's not that different than going to a community college and spending $10,000 with them and then going to the career center and using their network to find a job. Um, I think one of my biggest hesitancies with this, though, is I'm not sure that you would get the money's worth that you would want out of that $10,000 because they're teaching you how to use products that already exist like ChatGPT and MidJourney and things like that. Not really the nitty gritty and like how to program it yourself. And also the emphasis on becoming an AI consultant. And they did spend a long time today of being like, well, I got flown out to Google and they pay me $10,000 per course. And every time I talk to a client, it's $5,000 and like all of that stuff. And usually with these things, it's kind of like paying someone to learn how to be a career coach. Like you are the product. It's if it was that profitable, people would not be selling down stream to you. So I think that for products that exist where you're just doing prompt engineering, that having a project that you want to complete, that you're working towards and you're building in public, that'll actually build your audience more and like you'll be in a better place than just spending $10,000 somewhere and, you know, getting your hand held because real life is not handheld. You have to figure things out on your own and you'll be in a better place because it'll help you get an engaged audience. So that's just my opinion. That's just a very long winded, long winded way to say like, I'm not doing the six month boot camp because I don't think it'll be worth it for me. And I think that um, I have learned some interesting things with this, but it was, you know, a free seminar and I will get my own takeaways. Uh, mostly I think I could use, um, some of the automation tools to help me automate yield night more because I think I can get it to read the emails that are images and actually get the announcement for the distributions done much quicker. So maybe we'll even automate updating Yieldmite more. So that would be exciting. Um, I am doing a free boot camp though from Encode Club, which I have done a course with them before. And I wound up not, well, they make you do a $250 deposit. And when you complete the course, they give you back your money. And I actually just didn't complete the course. I was almost done, but then 
I got laid off in 2023 and I was like, you know what's even more important this this $250? Finding a new job. <laughs> so hopefully this time that boot camp that I'm taking from Encode Club, I can complete it and get my money back. Um, and it is, it's an AI course where they teach you how to create your own AI use MCPs and integrate it into a website. So I think that that'll have probably more, um, like it's, it's a better fit for me and my goals and, and where I am right now. So, um, it is my opinion though, that the best way to, to take advantage of this AI movement is actually just investing in AI companies. So, you know, you can do the weeklies like NV2 and the other ones that are going to um, have their first distributions next week. And, you know, there's Chippy and GPTY and Maggie and all of these. And if you have $10,000, um, I would... That's $100,000, Amy. Go you. Okay, so, like, would you rather make $280 a month on GPTY or spend $10,000 on a training and not have, you know, a customer base and then have to come up with money? <laughs> um, and you can always, if you have $10,000 and you were thinking about signing up for one of these type of courses, like put it into PLTY, which I actually put in the chat because they were um, disabling the chat quite regularly. But then near the end, they had the chat open and I was able to message everyone. I was like, hey, if you're thinking about spending $10,000 on this course, invest in PLTY and use the distributions to pay for this course. That way, uh, you're not actually out $10,000, but, um, you know, everybody has their own um, goals with everything. I just think that it'll be much easier to invest in NVIDIA and Palantir and AMD and reap the benefits of that than it is to create your own business and consulting company and have that be astronom astronomically successful. And I'm also not saying don't attempt it at all because I am definitely attempting it, especially um, if I wind up not getting either of those final interview jobs, which neither of them got back to me this week. So I will definitely be um, pursuing making my own stuff, but um, I, that still doesn't negate the fact that it's much easier to invest in PLTY and get a return on investment from PLTY than some uh, random course on the internet. Um, I also think that pretty soon you'll be able to buy a similar course from Udemy for like $20, which people buy those and then they just don't take them. And, you know, spending $20 on a course that you don't take is as valuable as a $10,000 course that you do take because you paid for the, for the $10,000. So, of course, you're going to go through it and learn all the things. So, in that way, it could be very valuable. But um, I would be very careful with, like, what the curriculum is and can you find it on your own. Um, and not really related, but on financial philharmonics, we have Why Worry?, about being a worker when the wealthy win by being in stocks. So it's like a pop punk song and that's just how I was feeling. Like uh, we're all very concerned about how to turn AI into like the next consulting business and faceless YouTube channels and everything like that when, um, and of course doing those things and making money in order to invest is also acceptable, but um, I just, you know, we don't teach the children 
and youths and, and college students that like working's nice and all, but you really do have to invest in your IRA and um, set some aside for these high income ETFs. Like I'm going to uh, be lecturing my nieces and nephews and be like, look, like, this is for short-term goals, this is for your immediate needs, but it's taking your money and putting a portion of it away now means that in the future you'll have more opportunities that you can um, take advantage of because you'll have a steady income from the stock market. So that's just my opinion. What are your opinions on education? Do you have like an education budget or are you kind of like me where it's like, if I need to learn something and I think it's going to be valuable, I don't mind spending money on it because it's education. I just don't think that this particular opportunity is suitable for me. So um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.